Hello everyone, Bag Whisperer here and if you don't know yet, uh, in this YouTube series we're basically taking a real life uh, web development project and from planning to deployment I'm going to share my journey with you. So let's get started. In our last video we just installed our main team and removed some like unnecessary codes and some styles and currently we don't have any components or anything this is our app.tsx file we have a title text and button so yeah this is our blank canvas and uh, before we start working on our home page i want to make um, like i want to make a navigation bar uh, which will be responsive so before doing that we have to address a problem so the problem is with this type of path and uh, i i hope you already know what like relative path and absolute path means basically let's just say we have a, like some folders inside our source folder and uh, we have a component that we want to like import or maybe like the path of that component will be relative to uh, which uh, which file we are uh, trying to use so for let's say main.tsx the path can be different from let's say some other component but uh, that's not ideal for us we want uh, like something like this so whenever we like wherever we use that i uh, I can just use this absolute path so this path works from wherever I want so that's something I wanna do for our app or like any other components or styled components so yeah if I try to do something like this let's say I uh, our app.tsx is inside source folder so if I say so, sorry if I say source app.tsx it doesn't work because it's telling me cannot find module source at app.tsx so i i can do this i can do this but that's just simply relative path so i don't want that instead what i actually want is i don't even want to write source every single time so i use this this specific thing where I can distinguish this at the rate from this at the rate. So whenever I'm importing some package from our node modules, it will be at the rate and then package name. <clears throat> but whenever I'm using something that I made inside our source folder, this, this specific at the rate and then forward slash, it will basically specify that it is our source and then inside our source i have app.tsx however it's it's not going to work for now because react doesn't know that i'm mapping this so what i have to do is in, inside our tsconfig.json here i have to specify that our base url should be this so this thing inside like our our root folder and then we have paths and then inside our paths we're gonna map our paths so for at the rate and then following uh, a forward slash we're mapping this to source and then whatever it is and now it can work so let's see if it works now so it's working here let's see if it's work here so it, it it's still not working why is that so basically what happens is ts con config tells our tells our text editor in in this case webstorm that whenever we have a path that starts with at the red forward slash map that with this but even this thing doesn't work right if we use source and then like the other 
the rest of the path it still doesn't work and in order to make it work we have to do a few things inside our white.config.js and the first time i came across this problem i think even in create react app i i think this problem doesn't exist but in white i have like came across this problem before and i have already found the solution so what we have to do is we have to import path and url and then uh, we have to define these two file name and direct directory name which is url dot file url to path and then path dot basically dir name and we'll put this file name here and what we're basically going to do is manually whenever i find this um we're mapping that to that specific directory name so yeah let's just copy this there is a slight problem when i do this as you can see we have this like cannot find module uh, or its corresponding type declarations so it's not a problem for us because we're not really doing anything that involves types so we're gonna ignore that and now it should work yeah so now what we can do is let's say we go here uh, not here we go to our main.tsx we can use this at the red forward slash and then app.tsx so let's just let's just see why it's important so let's say we have an inside folder and inside that we have another folder inside one and then let's say inside two and then inside three and here I'm, I'm going to make a component so some component so of course um, this type of nested uh, folders might appear you know in in future so now what we can do is let's just say we have to import our app.tsx in this this component uh, file and we can import that some with this and then so one two three four i think this one oh uh, i mean i have to write from So this thing uh, yeah so I think it's working um, let's just say yeah. okay so this is this is what we can do I I can't render this component here right now but as you can see uh, when we go deep inside this nested folders we constantly have to use this type of relative paths which are harder to handle instead of that since we have installed um, you know absolute path we can just do this import app from app.tsx and that's gonna work perfectly so yeah so this is what i wanted to show you and this is something i always configure before starting starting writing like actual components so i hope you find it helpful and thank you so much in our next video we are going to start working on our navigation bar and styling our home page basically and yeah until that have a good day goodbye